Hi, I'm Reese. And I'm Hayden. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press here today with... Kern Dakota. It's nice to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, could you tell us a little bit about the Warnware Patagonia? Yeah, of course. So I, the way I like to describe it in like one kind of phrase is we're like a food truck, except instead of serving food, we serve repairs. So you can kind of come up to the truck and bring something, a personal piece of clothing that you have that needs to be mended, and uh, we'll fix it for you. So that's pretty much how it works in a nutshell. <laughs> we have a big fan over there. <laughs> what are you doing now? Uh, right now I am prepping a zipper. So I have to cut out the old zipper and then Evan and Claire are going to sew in a new zipper. So this zipper, you can't see it anymore, but it was really damaged on this side. So we had to put a whole new one in. Yeah. Okay. How long have you guys been doing this business? Um, so Patagonia has been repairing clothing ever since they started, oh, um, so cool. but Warnware has kind of been taking the repairs to the road since 2015. So we've been doing the tours with the truck for about three years now, or That's we're awesome. in our third year. Could you tell us about the sign? <laughs> oh, the sign over there? The repair is a ra radical act. Repair has become something that's less common, which in turn makes it radical these days. So um, it's kind of a, trying to change the thought process that you have instead of just always buying new things and throwing your old clothes away um, to be rad and repair stuff. Could you show us around like the truck yeah. and like what sure. the system is? Is this a custom slicer hole? Yeah. <laughs> let's take it, let's go out front. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, this is Delia, our repair wagon, um, and this is kind of a window to the behind-the-scenes world. Um, and we have Evan over here on one of our sewing machines, and uh, we have another sewing machine right over here. And so repairs kind of come in and we'll stage the repairs that need to be done on one side of the door and then they'll come into the truck and as they get worked on and finished they'll kind of exit the other side of the door so that's kind of our system of intake and outtake flow but yeah um, we got lots and lots of supplies in here and uh, we can't do everything but we try to do anything um, but there's a there's a few shortages like some things that are really hard for us are like waterproofing so we don't have a seam sealer on here to do like waterproof tape seams on jackets that are like rain shells or hard shells um, but and we don't like to work on shoes or or packs that are too thick because the sewing machines that we have on the truck can't really go through the thicker material so yeah cool. okay. thank you for talking You're with welcome. us You're nice <laughs> This is Evan, Evan Franz. Hello. Hey Evan. How's it going? How's it going in there? That's what I <laughs> Hold that mic up. Tell I just, us about what you're doing. Um, well, this uh, this is a vest, a Patagonia vest. It's over 20 years old, um, and the zipper broke on it. And the fellow named Chris who owns it wanted um, something different than just the regular color black z zipper that it had originally. So, <laughs> in about 20 seconds, I'll be done with this, and I can show you what it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the finishing. finishing yeah. That. How did you get into what you're doing right now? Um, I would say it all kind of started from my grandmother. Um, she, she's the one that I must credit that taught me how to sew. Um, and then I just started fixing my friend's clothes and repairing things and making my pants tighter when I was kind of a little punk. <laughs> and then um, I never really took it seriously as a job, but uh, as life kind of caught up with me, I had all these injuries that I couldn't, I just couldn't do hard labor or like landscaping and painting and things like that. So I started sewing, got a job in the textile industry, and I've been just repairing stuff ever since. And then we met some people through Warnware and got incorporated with them. And this is here's the jacket right here. 
Whoa, that is flashing. Yeah. <laughs> this guy um, lived in Tell has lived in Telluride for I think 30 years, and he started something called the Fire Festival here in the winter. Um, and so I thought I'd throw orange and red on <laughs> the zipper. Nice. Yeah. Thanks. So. How did you guys come up with the name Delia for the truck? Oh man, well, you know, I don't even, I don't even feel like I'm worthy of explaining the story, but um, <laughs> it's actually, it's actually a sad story. Somebody um, named Delia passed away that was invo involved with Warren Ware, um, and uh, the, the, you know, the rig was kind of built in her honor and named in her honor. So, oh, cool. um, yeah, she was a tour manager. So, yeah. Guys for being how many worn wear trucks do you have? Like, um, does how many? Well, this is the only one that tours in the United States. We do have some other um, vehicles that are a little less, you know, <laughs> extravagant. That we hold some of our supplies and extra trims and scraps and fabrics and Velcro and all that. Um, so things that are able to run on biodiesel. But in terms of, in the U.S., this is Delia, and this is the only one. We also have um, a, more of a sprinter built out in Europe that does uh, European tours in, for Warren Ware. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Have a good day, guys. You too. Ah. We didn't even get the ice cream. What? <laughs>